Welcome to Tegomatics. In this video, we're focusing on geometry part two. And in this part two, we are considering mensuration. But before we move into mensuration, if you're watching my video for the first time, I would like you to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, like my video, share it, and give a comment. I would love to reply your comment. Now here comes the question. What is mensuration? Mensuration simply means measurement. In other words, anytime you take a measurement, what you're doing is what? Mensuration. Actually, it is a branch of mathematics which deals with geometric shapes like the perimeters, the areas, the volume, and other related parameters. That's mensuration. Since mensuration deals with geometric shapes, what are the types of shape we're considering in mensuration? There are two types of shape to be considered. The first is a plain shape, and the second is a solid shape. What is the difference between these two shapes? A plane shape is a two-dimensional shape, or we can call it a 2D shape, while the solid shape is what a 3D shape. Very simple. Now you need to understand that when we talk about plane shapes or 2D shapes, these are shapes that contain three or more straight lines joined together in the same plane. But when we talk about the 3D shapes or the solid shapes, these are shapes that contain different surfaces and they have depths. You get that. Now, another important thing you need to understand about the plane shapes and the solid shapes is that in the plane shapes, we can calculate perimeters and area. But for solid shapes, what we calculate is volume, total surface area, curved surface area, or the lateral surface area. In this video, our main focus will be on plane shapes. But before we move into plane shapes, let's look at the various examples of plane shapes and solid shapes. For plane shapes, we have square, rectangle, we have a triangle, we have circle, we have parallelogram, we have rhombus, we have trapezium, and we have kites. But for solid shapes, we could have things like a cube, we have cuboid, we have prism, cylinder pyramid, sphere, etc. So now let's move into plane shapes. Since we can measure the perimeter and the area of plane shapes, now let's look at the meaning of perimeter and area of a plane shape. What is a perimeter of a plane shape? Perimeter of a plane shape is the distance around the shape. In other words, it is the addition of the values of the lines binding the shapes together. In other words, if we have four different lines forming a plane shape, we have to add all the values of each line that forms the shape to get the perimeter of a shape. When we talk of the area of a plane shape, the area of a plane shape is the space in square units occupied by the shape. I'll come again. The area of a plane shape is the space in the square unit occupied by the shape. Now let us focus on the perimeter and area of a square. Don't forget that a square is one of the plane shapes. A square is a plane shape bounded by four lines. The lines of a square are equal. In other words, all the lines are equal. That is why there is an indication mark that is usually on a square. You can see a single stroke. This single stroke tells you that all the lines are equal. Now, when you consider the square, like we said, that perimeter is addition of all the word lines. Let's say our first line is L centimeter. If the first line is L centimeter, what it implies is that the rest of the lines will also be L centimeter. 
So to find our perimeter, all we need to do is to add the lines together. L plus L plus L plus L. That gives us 4L. In other words, the perimeter of a square is 4L. That is the formula. Never forget that. Now let's talk about the area of a square. Remember we said that area deals with the space in square unit. So automatically, to get that, all we need to do is multiply two of the lengths. Since all we need to get is a square unit. So we have L multiplied by L. And doing that, we get L squared. That is a formula of the area of a square. So never forget this. The perimeter of a square is for L. The area of a square is L squared. Another important formula I would like to give to you about the area of a square. The area of a square can also be gotten by using the formula half d squared. Half d squared. What does that D represent? The D represents diagonal. In other words, if we slash our square into two, we get the diagonal. So sometimes it can be given the diagonal of a square and you are asked to calculate the area or the perimeter of the square. Never forget that. Half D squared. Now let's move into some problems. This is our first problem. The problem says, Find the perimeter and area of a square of side 8 cm. Find the perimeter and area of a square of side 8 cm. Let's solve it. Very simple. Now, don't forget that the side is 8 cm. To find the perimeter, remember our formula P is equal to 4L. Our L is 8. So what we do is we say P is equal to 4 multiplied by 8. So our P is equal to 32 centimeters. Very simple. That's how you get the perimeter. Now let's get our area. To get our area, we say that A is equal to L squared. No, A is equal to L squared. Now our A, since our L is 8 centimeters, our A is equal to 8 squared. And 8 squared is 8 multiplied by 8, which is 64 centimeter square. Now, there's something I'd like you to remember, never forget this. Anytime you calculate area, your units have to be in square. That's why in the definition we said it is a space occupied in square units. Do you get that? So your unit must be in square. Now, let's have problem 2. Another simple and interesting problem. The question says that the perimeter of a square is 52 centimeter. The perimeter of a square is 52 centimeter. Find the area of the square. The perimeter of a square is 52 centimeter. Find the area of the square. How do we do this? Very simple. Remember, they ask us to find the area. If we put the formula for finding area, we say that our area is equal to L square. But there is a problem here. We don't know the value of our L. We don't know the length. But we are asked to look for area. But there is something given to us and that thing is called perimeter. So from the perimeter, we can get the value of our L. So what do we do? We say that perimeter is equal to 52 centimeters. But our perimeter is equal to 4L. So if we substitute 52 for perimeter, then we could say that 52 is equal to 4L. Then L is equal to 52 divided by 4. So the value of our L is 13 centimeter. The value of our L is 13 centimeter. Now that we know the value of our L, we can easily find our area. Then we could say that Area is equal to L square. We recall it. Then we say that area is now 13 square. And 13 square is 13 multiplied by 13. So the value of our area is 169 centimeter square. Now let's have our next problem. This is problem 3. The question says that the area of a square is 196 centimeter square. Find the perimeter of the square. 
Very simple. This problem is similar to the previous one. The only difference is that we are given area, unlike the previous one where we were given perimeter. Let's solve it. To solve this, we could just say that our area is 196 centimeters square, but area is L square. So our area, which is 196, we substitute it there, is equal to L square. So the value of our L is the square root of 196. We take the square root, so the value of our L is 14 centimeter. So now that we know our length, we can now say that perimeter is equal to 4L. Then our perimeter is equal to 4 multiplied by 14. And 4 multiplied by 14 will give us 56 centimeters. So you see, we've gotten our perimeter. Our perimeter is 56 centimeters. Let's move to the next problem. This is problem 4. Let's look at this problem. The question here says, the length of the diagonal of a square is 12 centimeters. Find its area and perimeter. Hmm. This question seems different, but don't forget that I gave you the formula for calculating the area of a square given the diagonal. And what is this formula? Half d square, or we could say 1 over 2d square. Where the d represents our diagonal. Let's solve it. Diagonal of the square is 12 centimeters. Our area is half d square. So we have half into bracket 12 square. Where did we get the 12? That is the value given for diagonal in the question. So we just substitute it in. So we have half multiplied by the value of 12 square is 12 times 12, which is 144. So our area is half multiplied by 144, which is equal to 72 centimeters square. Now we know the value of our area. Our area is 72 centimeters square. The question is clear already. Now let's find our perimeter. Since area is 72 centimeters square, we also know that our area is equal to L square. So 72, which represents our area, is equal to L square. We find our L by taking the square root of both sides. So L is equal to square root of 72. So L is 8.49 centimeter. So our length is 8.49 centimeter approximately. Now what we do is we look for the perimeter. Perimeter is equal to 4L. Automatically, perimeter is equal to 4 multiplied by 8.49. And our perimeter is equal to 33. 0.96 centimeter. This is very well simple. Now you know what? I have something for you. Something very simple. I'd like you to try out these questions. Try it out, solve it, and give your answer in the comment section. I would love to interact with you when I see your answers. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it interesting and impactful. If you're yet to subscribe to my channel, this is another fantastic opportunity for you to do that. I'd like you to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it, and give your comments. I would love to reply your comment. See you in my next video.